how do I double corporate to catalog CT6 present on catalog SRX? Catalog CT6 and catalog SRX share 100% identical screens, even if dashboard screen trim panel is a little bit different. Apple CarPlay only comes one way. This is not mirroring, this is actual CarPlay. At all your apps, this is real Android Auto. Same as found in 2018-2019 Buick, Chevrolet, GMC, and Cadillac vehicles. Quality product since 2002. See description below the video for product information. Must expand description section of watching this video on mobile device. This demo is for iPhone Android smartphone mirroring with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plus for camera inputs. Interface compatible with Cadillac Q vehicles. This interface does not replace factory radio or factory screen. It enhances the factory screen with features such as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI mirroring and extra cameras. All factory features work as before. This interface is see-through. The vehicle does not detect it if it is installed in a car. All Naftal products are 100% made in the USA. All Naftal products are 100% automotive grade. This is a two-part video. We're going to show you installation and we're going to show you user guide of the or video type user menu for this product. We're going to show you first how to use the product then how to install this is a quick overview of the installation process. The detailed installation procedure follows the product demonstration. Typically installation is done behind the glove box in the car. So behind the glove box you find connector like this. Unplug it, plug in factory connector in here and plug this back into the module. 100% plug and play. Then you got a second connector it's going to be black in color, unplug it, plug the supplied one back into the module, plug this in here, you're going to plug in the factory connector. Take the main harness that we supplied you with, you know, remove the tie wrap. This is your camera input audio and this has your uh, microphone if you install Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You take, since you already installed this harness, it joins together like this. Then you got it. this joins together to the secondary harness. Then you plug this into the module. Then you're going to find another module. It's all located next to each other behind the glove box. That's going to have this kind of blue connector. You're going to unplug it. You're going to plug in the factory connector into the supplied connector that we're going to give you and then you're going to connect another connector so basically you have a factory connector that goes in here and then the supplied connector because we're going to give you two cables so you unplug one from the car and another module it's all located next to each other behind the glove box that's going to have this kind of blue connector you're going to unplug it you're going to plug in the factory connector into the supplied connector that we're going to give you and then you're going to connect another connector so basically you have a factory connector that goes in here and then the supplied connector because we're going to give you two cables so you unplug one from the car you plug in here and this plugs in back into the car and you plug in here and in here it's all OEM connectors so the entire installation process after you remove the glove box, it will take you approximately two to three minutes. Do not forget to program the interface. All interfaces are stripped blank as they need to be configured by the installer or end user. Programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using Windows or Mac computer. Apple CarPlay update. The update process takes approximately two minutes. This is the software already open on the screen. Software is available for Windows and Mac based computers. Step one, download the updater, it takes approximately 30 seconds. Step two, open it. it, takes one second. Step three, get a cable, USB to micro USB. USB end, you're gonna connect it to the computer. Micro USB end, you're going to connect into the interface. Then install appropriate software. So just for the test purposes, we're going to install Jeep Wrangler and hit install and the installation starts and the entire process is probably going to take right about 30 seconds 
and then after it's installed you basically do install it in the car and don't forget to set your dip switches in the video it's going to tell you whether they go, go up or down and the configuration entire configuration on Windows or Mac computer will take you no longer than two minutes that's everything that's downloading the software and installing so installing the software and then the last step is configuring which is self-explanatory it's everything is in plain English right with don't make it complicated there's no learning curve to this as you can see I hit search I hit install it's only one button so there is no learning curve to use this it's basically all automated it sits as 99% right now that's gonna go away and it's gonna say see device completed click close and then the camera settings you can update again this is all here in plain English on our left hand side you adjust cameras that you want to install if you're installing any on the right hand side you choose cameras that cars equipped with and then how do you want it to operate again it's all in plain English so if you're installing side cameras there are three ways to operate them manual manual with a speed check manual without speed check everything is in plain English again no learning curve the whole update takes approximately one minute you just have to tell the interface if you're gonna install any aftermarket camera and you gotta tell the interface if you have any of the factory cameras you are completing your update and it took us about 2 minutes and 30 seconds for the entire process take it to the car and continue with the installation compatible with IO5 and IO6 radios with or without navigation system this interface can be installed in the Cadillac Q Buick Chevrolet my link, GMC Intel link this interface is compatible with IO5 and IO6 Buick, Chevrolet, Cadillac and GMC vehicles it allows you to add smartphone mirroring for iPhone and Android 4 cameras Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If your vehicle is equipped with factory Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you don't have to worry about that because your factory Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will work as before. This is an optional module for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If your vehicle has that from factory, you don't have to purchase it. You will continue to use your factory Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is identical to factory equipped vehicles for 2018-2019 however this interface is compatible with all IO5 and IO6 navigation and non-navigation vehicles starting from 2013 all the way to 2019 with GMC IntelLink, Chevrolet MyLink, Buick IntelLink and Cadillac Q so all vehicles are compatible you can contact us for detailed compatibility but the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto module is optional so if you want just one mirroring plus four cameras this module you don't have to purchase if you don't want it or your vehicle is already equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto feature demonstration this is the new 5.0 menu this is made in USA this is unique and original to us this is the new 5.0 interface you got two digital connectors main connector got HDMI port for mirroring, USB port for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, status LEDs, Bluetooth and upgrade update port. This interface comes with HDMI input for mirroring and four camera inputs. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto additional. We will pre-install it for you inside the interface so it's not going to be a separate adapter if you order Apple CarPlay and Android Auto if your vehicle is not equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and you want to purchase it it will be pre-installed inside the box so when you get this box it's going to look identical however you will have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto installed inside if you just order mirroring interface it's going to have HDMI for mirroring and four camera inputs camera input demonstration your vehicle's factory camera will continue to work automatically as before. Now let's demo some of the features. You got rear view camera option if your vehicle is not equipped with rear view camera. If your vehicle is equipped with one, then it will work as before without any changes. 
there's no signal here because nothing is connected however you can add rear view camera but you will have to route it if you have factory camera you can route it through here but you will lose factory moving lines other than that you can install additional rear view camera or just have a factory rear view camera that will work automatically in reverse we got front view camera here that's your front view camera you got left lane watch camera this is not a parking camera this is a driving camera for blind spot you adjust it any way you like and this particular camera that we're demoing has lines you can purchase one without lines we have right lane watch camera that has also lines you can purchase camera without lines and it watches your right side again this camera just for demo they're not adjusted but so you get an idea you see your right side of your vehicle and over here you have left side of your vehicle and over here you have a front of your vehicle to get out to the main menu press this button interface operation overview now you got HDMI for mirroring and you got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so over here this is your Android Auto you press here to exit this returns back to the menu these are your interface settings in settings you got brightness adjustment for the inputs each input can be adjusted individually Bluetooth settings for optional Bluetooth module and factory reset to exit settings press here to exit out of the interface you press this power button that goes back to your factory screen and then all your factory features work as before whatever you press on the screen this is gonna work when you press and hold in the top left corner a few seconds it enters the interface and touchscreen takes over to the interface nothing in the background will be touched or the factory features will work because now we're controlling with this touchscreen our interface keep in mind this is just a screen same screen as found in your house it's the screen with the touchscreen everything that you see on here is an image that's coming from elsewhere in the car so this is just the monitor that brings you the image to the screen this apps are not built in here they're elsewhere in the car so we are using this as a screen so let's say if you compare this to your home TV this is HDMI input 1 and when you press and hold this is HDMI input 2 so this interface has four camera inputs left right rear and forward camera the camera display can be activated manually and is also triggered automatically by your turn signals or gear shift automations right how this wall works when you're driving let's show you that we're gonna go ahead and exit out so let's say you're driving with the left turn signal you will have left camera keep in mind if you didn't install left camera nothing will turn on so when you're gonna put a left turn signal it will be as before so let's put a left turn signal you got your left side showing your blind spots or whatever going on left hand side if you did not install left camera it will continue to show original screen or anything else right camera same thing switches automatically to the right side if you did not install right side camera nothing will switch in reverse you got a factory rear view camera if you have one if your car is not equipped with one you can add one if you don't have a camera or vehicle is not equipped with one nothing is going to happen in drive you got front view camera front view camera shuts off automatically after 10 miles an hour if you didn't install front view camera when you put it in drive vehicle will switch over into the uh, factory menu now let's say you in the interface mode and you do an Apple CarPlay or Android Auto left turn signal left camera it goes back automatically right turn signal right camera goes back automatically in reverse factory or aftermarket camera in drive front camera keep in mind if you didn't add any of those cameras it will not switch so for example if you're driving and you did not install left camera with the left turn signal on you will not have anything on the screen because it will just continue to show factory Android Auto or Apple CarPlay let's exit out of Android Auto but keep in mind one thing Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is identical to factory installed Apple CarPlay and Android Auto same as in 2018 or newer vehicles and there is no difference Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is just like original this is not any kind of Apple CarPlay Apple CarPlay and Android Auto live inside your devices so you got your Android device and you got your iPhone 
all updates happen inside here. So basically everything that's updated happens inside the phones, either iPhone or Android. So whatever you see right now, that's how Android made it. If something changes, it will also change in here. It will not change anywhere else because once they update this thing, if they decide to change this interface, it's going to be only in here. You never have to worry about updates. So this is 100% just like original. Now, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is identical to factory installed Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There is no need to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade factory HMI module. It's full touch screen, just like original. So you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on getting new HMI modules or anything like that. This works with IO5, IO6, Buick, GMC, Chevrolet, Cadillac all 2013 to 2019. If you have CarPlay and Android Auto in your vehicle, you don't have to buy this module. You will have HDMI for full mirroring and four cameras. While you're driving, you can choose to watch any camera. So look, I got a right lane watch camera, left lane watch camera, front camera. I can drive and watch these cameras at all times. Or I can go back into the menu. Now, smartphone mirroring for iPhone and Android devices with optional wireless mirroring. Let's do mirroring of HDMI. If you have multiple phones, what you can do is purchase something like this. This is an adapter. And then let's say if you plug an Android Auto in here or mirroring, let's say I plug an Android Auto, the icon is going to reappear. You see because something is connected, you can install this anywhere in the car, typically in your armrest, and you can use it both for mirroring and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, or just use it for charging of your phone, up to you. Now, let's do mirroring first. We're going to do iPhone mirroring. So we're going to connect our iPhone. So click on HDMI and there you go. You have your iPhone mirrored. You can mirror iPhone or Android. See this full mirroring. You can use all the applications work. Netflix, YouTube, Hulu. There is no restrictions. 100% of the applications work. No problem. Now. For iPhone, we recommend using the cable. However, we also offer wireless adapter. You can purchase our wireless adapter that allows you to mirror iPhone or Android wirelessly. For Android, we recommend using wireless adapter if you don't have HDMI on your Android. But for iPhone, you can use whatever you like. However, keep in mind, if you use wireless iPhone, you will lose Netflix, YouTube, and Hulu. So we recommend using a wire. and um, iPhone was designed to be used with a wire basically so that you can mirror whatever you want to your phone screen and no restrictions all applications work 100% if when you open the screen you feel like your image is stretched out just press one more time to re-enter it but it's see nice and tight all around okay so you can mirror iPhone or Android iPhone through HDMI that's recommended keep in mind it's not like in your living room where you need it wireless in the car it's easy to have it sitting in your armrest and you can mirror your iPhone and your Android if your Android doesn't have HDMI or type C USB to HDMI you will have to use a regular standard um, wireless adapter you can use wireless for both but this is mirroring which means no controls from the screen all controls are from your, from your iPhone or Android. To exit out of the screen, press here. No limitations on mirroring. Apple CarPlay feature of the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto 2-in-1 video interface. Now Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay is just like original in the car that is equipped in all GM, Cadillac, GMC, Chevrolet. No difference. This button is to go back into the main menu. This obviously to exit out. Enter back in, press the button, you got all your apps. Swipe with the finger. Whatever apps are available, whatever you install into this interface, it's going to all show up on here. So if you add an app, it's going to show up. Phone calling. You go into the phone calling menu and you can go ahead and dial your phone or do whatever you want. So if you have contacts, they're going to appear here. If you want to dial a number, you can just dial a number. 
We just don't have anything as far as a SIM card or anything like that, but it would call, but we don't have a SIM card installed. Now, your recent applications are here. You got Maps. It's going to open up the Maps on the screen. On iOS 12, you will have Google Maps, Android Auto, and other stuff. You can go to Destinations. You can enter a new address either with Siri by voice or with the keyboard. You enter whatever you want. It's all touchscreen, all responsive, all works. As you can see I'm typing, everything comes in. If you want to do Siri, you press and hold the home button and it's going to activate Siri for you, just like so. There you go, you got your Siri on the screen. You can do whatever you want with Siri. You got your, you know, whatever applications are available, they all work through the touch screen. So now, when iOS 12 released, you don't have to worry, you'll never have to update the interface. The updates are all done right here directly on the phone. So you never ever have to worry updates. We're going to connect another iPhone that has many more applications. So let's go ahead and connect this. And you're going to see that you have way, way more applications than the standard iPhone that we've connected before with no applications. Look how many apps we have here. Look at all these apps. We got Spotify, we got a bunch of applications. You go into Tuna Radio, one of my favorite applications. Very low on the internet, so it's going to be kind of slow here. But just to show you how it works. So it opens up the iTunes uh, tuning application. You go into music, and it's loading. You go into 80 hits, and it's loading. And you can go ahead and play whatever you want. And it, the audio is going to come through your car speakers, obviously. For copy reason, we're not able to play. But you see it's playing. Pause. Play. Pause. Apple CarPlay is just like factory. There is no difference. Apple CarPlay only comes one way. This is not mirroring, this is actual CarPlay. Also keep in mind that in phone settings, you can rearrange icons on Apple CarPlay any way you want. So if you go into phone settings, go into general, go into the CarPlay, and over here you can rearrange apps. So let's say I want to move map from second location to the third location. I press and hold and I moved it. You see now it's in third location. If I want to move map to the first location, there you go. It's in the first location. So you got CarPlay on your screen. If you want to get out of the CarPlay, click on return. You can go into mirroring. Let's say if you got another phone connected or if you got Rock or something else connected here or if you just want to watch your front camera. There you go. While driving, watch any of the cameras. Go back into your CarPlay. If you're inside the CarPlay and you're driving and you have extra cameras installed, they will also work automatically. And once you're driving, put a left camera on. You got left camera, right camera, right camera, and reverse rear camera, and drive front camera. Again, keep in mind, if you did not add in, adding any new cameras with turn signals, you don't have to worry. It's not going to change automatically. Got your recent apps over here so if you want to go to to tune in radio right there it's going to open up if you want to go into maps right there your maps are going to go open up and you can switch back to tune in radio so all your recent apps are here or if you go into home go into the home menu and to exit out of this click return and you go back to the factory screen android auto feature of apple carpal and android auto two in one video interface auto so First, let's do Android Auto. You connect it, Android Auto appears, you got all your apps. This is real Android Auto. Same as found in 2018, 2019, Buick, Chevrolet, GMC, and Cadillac vehicles. You got your music application, so if you have any music, see, install media apps for Android Auto, we don't have any installed, but if you have Spotify or any other apps, they will appear here. You got your phone calls here, so you can dial whatever number you have. You can bring on the dial pad and dial any number. So we can dial 718555212. And you can call, but keep in mind your car has to have Bluetooth. Next, keep in mind if you see any lines on the screen, they're not there in real life. This is just how the camera is capturing it. So you can call this number. We just don't have the calling connected. We don't have a SIM card. Then you got your navigation. For this car, we have Google Maps or Waze. And whatever you select, you control directly from your touch screen. So the Google Maps appear. You can go into your destination, recent places. Everything is right here on the screen for you. Everything is like factory. 
So Android Auto is always inside your phone. All updates happen inside the phone. Apps are installed inside your phone. Everything is here, so you don't have to do anything else. We do provide you with a microphone for Google Maps and Android Auto. It's a small microphone. It's installed in the ceiling with a little clip. You're not even going to see it. It's very small, but keep in mind that you never have to worry updates. Anything that is updated or apps are created, they all automatically inside your phone. To get out of it, press here and return to interface installation process. This is an installation for Cadillac Q with or without navigation iOS 5 or iOS 6. However, this procedure is identical for all Buick, Chevrolet, Cadillac and GMC IO5 or IO6 with or without navigation. There is no difference as long as you have an 8 inch screen in your Buick, Chevrolet, Cadillac or GMC vehicle with or without navigation and it's all the same because all those cars even though the appearance of the dashboard may be a little bit different however the screens and the screen modules are identical 2013 to 2019 with IO5, IO6, Q Cadillac, Buick and GMC Intel Link, or Chevy MyLink radius. Installation is super simple. You're going to find the screen module. And in the screen module, you will find a plug like this. You will unplug it and plug an hour supplied plug back in there. The factory plug, you're going to plug in into this kind of connector. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to plug them together. Now, so this you unplug from the car, and you're gonna have the same connector go back into the car. And then one you unplug from the car, you're gonna plug it into the supplied one. Now you have two ends. You got an interface that have same connectors. Those are all original connectors. And you plug it in. Then you got the main module that you wanna plug in. So the main module interface harness you're going to plug in here. You got your RCAs here for extra cameras if you're installing them and a microphone. Then you got this harness. You're going to find a harness connector like this at the screen module. You're going to unplug it, plug in the factory in here, and then this is going to go back into the screen module. And you got two connectors. One is going to plug in here. And then you got a second radio module. You're gonna unplug the connector like this, plug a factory in here, and then this goes back into the radio module, and this is going to join with this. So the entire installation process of this module takes approximately five minutes after you access the radio. The radio and the screen module, most of the Cadillacs and Chevys are behind the glove box. However, if in your car you don't find it behind the glove box, refer to the manual will show you the locations. Most of the times it's either in a passenger kick panel or the driver's kick panel. Thank you for watching. Please click the logo on the left hand side to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions work on smartphones, tablets and computers. Please like the video, please click the notification bell and please leave a comment about this video. If you want to watch another video, please click the video on the right hand side.